What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You have Brody and Silver Sage back with another financial breakdown. Today, we are breaking down the 2023 NFL Phoenix Hobby Box. Sage, talk to me. Yes, I was really looking forward to preparing this breakdown. If you haven't watched us open the Hobby Box yet, please go back and watch this box. You're not going to want to miss it. It was one of our one of our most entertaining hobby boxes to open because of what you're about to see here. So pause right now and go back and watch it or I think stay with us. I was, I was going to say too, I think this hobby box, Kelsey was not, if I can remember correctly, I don't think she was ready for it to be a hobby. Yes. Like this was her first like introduction. Yes. And so the first pack, she was just kind of flying through it like normal. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing Allie open her first <laughs> hobby box on camera. Yeah. Cause I'm wondering if it's going to be the same yes. as, uh, as Kelsey's where yeah. they're just used to flying through the base cards. Yes. And you know, with five cards per pack, it's almost like there's not too it's much quick. bulk and that's what we're about to get into the bulk. And I call it plus the bulk plus, because like we just mentioned, you kind of beat me to it a little bit is there's not too much bulk in here because every card mm -hmm. has value. So I put kind of the lower ones here and I called them bulk plus uh, three highlights here, AOC on the pink uh, JSN down there on a rookie rising. And then I didn't include every card. For example, we left off the Kirk cousin silver and this is $10 in value before we, I guess, before we jump too much, uh, too far into it, I guess maybe we should pause and say like, listen, we sold a lot of these cards. We know the exact value. This right here is what we sold the cards for. So we have the data. Oh, nice. We spent $395 on the box and we're going to go through the review of just saying like, how did we do? Uh, because if you're new here or if you're not new here, it's worth mentioning again, Brody, Kelsey, Allie, myself, we're all in this adventure. Uh, and we're 50, 50 partners, uh, Brody and I, and then, uh, the wives tag along to each of each of us, obviously makes sense, right? 50, 50 partners. And <laughs> we don't do this for the money. Clearly we're in the wrong business. If we're doing this for the money, we do this for the love. We're still in the red. Of, yeah. We're still in the red. Unfortunately, <laughs> we do this for the love of the hobby, but do we care about opening back money and making money on boxes? Absolutely. And we do this financial breakdown of it to, uh, reflect a little bit about the box that we open. And uh, sometimes it's I think bad. <laughs> a, yeah, I was going to say, I think a future video will be the disaster that was 2023 Absolute Football. Yes. Uh, I learned my lesson <laughs> really quickly of where I was chasing after that kaboom. Yeah. I really wanted to pull our very first kaboom and didn't realize the amount of money we were putting into that product. <laughs> so at the end of the day, yes, we love opening boxes. We love opening packs, but we're also interested in, Hey, what's the best value? Yes. Like we've seen tons of videos out there. NBA prism hobby, not good value. It's, it's just, I don't know if I've seen a box actually break even. Right or even gotten close. Exactly. So that's what, that's what we're after. We love opening product, but these videos give us a chance to kind of show you guys what product out there is, is doing well and what product out there did not do well for us. Yes. And we love this Phoenix, Phoenix box so far. The bulk totals to $59 here. And that's a cool wow. lava on the Tajay Spears. Uh, mm -hmm. so not the best guy, but still the law of out of 175 was worth $9 and 50 cents that we sold. Okay. Moving on. Here's the blow up average bombs, Babs. Babs. I put these 10 to 15 for this box because this felt like a, like a good range for these. There's five cards in the top right here. Three of them are pictured, uh, just a couple of points and we can move on is, um, we're using actual sales. I mentioned that in the previous one. So these are our sales. Uh, when you pulled this triple patch, it was interesting to comp. And some of these cards are interesting to comp because the box is just yeah. released. You get a patch, you get some rare card. You're looking for comps and there's like no sales. 
a couple people have it buy it now for some astronomical amount and that card into that card i was curious about because it's so unique like two old jets players this new stud three patches like how much could this go for and sure enough it went for ten dollars and fifty cents I'm wondering if it's the patches. I think if we would have gotten some color, I think that card pops I'm glad you so said much that. more. They, I think they have the same version out of 10 and out of 25. And those patches have two or three colors in them when you when they lower down to the numbers. That Justin gotcha. Tucker patch that we got out of 10, was suit, it had like mm-hmm. four colors on it. I saw some of those similar cards and it was Justin Tucker out of 100 and it had one color patches. So they mm. increase the coolness of the patches when the serial number drops lower. That makes and I sense. think that's a okay. new thing. I didn't know that. I like that. I like the idea that lower, lower number, yes. you get really sick patches. It used like to that. be completely random. Everything's out of 50 and you get a bad patch or a good patch. Mm. And what people were starting to do and still do is they like replace the patch. They cut up a Ooh. they cut up a jersey with like four different things and they they take out the patch and put it in and list it on eBay. <laughs> oh, no. So if we tried that here, we'd be busted. Um, then Miles Sanders, I was watching the video and we were excited about this card, a running back for the Eagles, but it looks sick. I, is it? It's a sick looking card. Is it because it's sideways? Maybe all these cards are sideways, but I really do not like the sideways cards. Maybe uh, the market doesn't either. I don't. I mean, you, you you say that and there's like color blasts that are sideways, kabooms that yeah. are sideways that are selling for thousands of dollars. <laughs> so I don't know if it's necessarily the sideways. I I guess just Eagles fans are just out on this guy. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, makes it, sense. You know, not $11.50 for that. That seems incredibly low yeah. for an auto of a, I mean, he's a, he was the starting running back. Yeah, well, they... It, they had a committee there and, you know, the Eagles had a disappointing season. It, maybe the Eagles fans aren't really shopping on eBay after getting bounced. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, this was also, too, all these sales are probably, what, a couple weeks ago? Yeah. I would say. Just to let people know because, you know, yeah, timing matters in a lot of this. So yep. these were all sales from a couple weeks ago. Yep. And the teal is kind of frustrating listing these cards on eBay because that one's teal, but it's like the Jefferson. It's so colorful. Like where's the teal? But if you really examine it, you can kind of see the teal in person a little bit better. So it's tough. Yeah. Anyways. Um, it was funny because part of listing on eBay and selling the process, which we, we do have eBay financial reviews too, where we break down a lot of eBay. I don't want to dive too much into that, but if you haven't seen any of those, you can check them out. But uh, you copy listings, and everybody was listing all these cards completely random. So it was nobody can figure out. Okay, we will take it. So uh, a common theme that we say when we open a card, we'll say, we'll take that. So we will definitely take these in any pack. That's for sure. Yes. And a couple highlights is that uh, Tyreek Hill on the contours up there. That is a sick card and sick insert, and it went for 15 bucks. I was happy with that, but still a normal insert of that level. Uh, you'd expect you'd expect just random inserts to go low. We just got a great box uh, because I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but that was fifty-seven dollars total here, and now we're already off to a good start with fifteen bucks. Tucker Craft Purple. I was shocked that this card went that high. Uh, Twenty-six dollars. Packers, man. Yeah. Packers. Jordan Love, this is a color burst. This one is hard to see, but there's so many colors. It's not a teal. It's just a color burst. And then... Uh, I think you get one of those per box, yeah. too. One color burst per box. So it is a pretty rare card. And Robinson with this nice jumbo patch here for $41. Great name, great patch. And my comment here is, these are beautiful cards, and it is tough to sell these ones uh, because... We love these cards so much, and we don't want to sell them. We want we want to root for these players, like Tucker Craft. Like, owning that card and rooting for that guy seems like so much fun. And then Robinson down here, the Falcons just got a new quarterback, and Kirk Cousins, like, they're going to explode next year rooting for them. But we do – we sell these Ty- – Tyreek Hill might be hard right we, now to root for. Yes. <laughs> he's got – he's got – 
he's got some stuff going on off the off the field. Yeah. So just in general, maybe we're okay with selling yeah. that. One. But just in general, the reason why we're selling these cards is we're trying to get money back into the into Dark Horse Sports cards, so then we can buy more cards right now, and uh, that's why we're doing it. And we got a hundred. Yeah, it's kind of kind of where we're at right now. How I view it almost is like we're a new business. And we, as the owners, we're not really paying ourselves right oh. now. All the money we make the is kind of going of Whatever right the opposite back. of that is, that's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, like we're we're putting, you know, as a new business, we're putting all the money, all the all the profit we make, yes, right back into the business. And so it's kind of like that of where the cards are our profit, and instead of putting the cards in our pocket and we get to keep them. Yep we're actually now putting them back into the business to buy more boxes, to get a better lighting set up, to get yeah. better cameras, whatever it may be. Yep. Um, but hopefully, you know, as the business grows and gets more profitable, potentially, that's when we can start putting these cards in our pockets and actually keeping them and being able to root for them. Yeah, guys. and something fun, letting you guys in on some of our co conversations. Like we're, we love sports cards so much. We're, th we're dreaming of the days where we're profitable and we're not taking any of that profit in cash. We're taking that profit, future profit in cards and we're totally fine yes. with that. So we plan to never yes. make a dollar from this, but we plan to hopefully have some sick card collections in the future. Uh, so yeah, support us, subscribe, join the dark horse drip and help us get, get moving. All right. CJ Strong. So CJ Strong. <laughs> this is because his prices seem to like no matter what we pull, they're staying strong. There's nothing that he can they're do. Nuts. And this is one of our favorite players. Went to Ohio State. We love that. And we loved watching him. We really bonded over watching him. And it is hard to sell these. It kills us. Uh but we listed these. We got I mean we we got in, yeah, we got in at such a crazy time. Yeah. And our biggest card, which was our almost one of our first cards we yeah. pulled, was a Prism CJ Stroud. Oh, sick. So it was like, it was a wild time because that's when he was just like, was blowing up in the playoffs. And we were going nuts, texting each other like, he threw another oh ball, touchdown. Yes. It was so So fun. we absolutely love this guy. And uh, th these are probably the hardest ones for us to yeah. sell. I, because it's like I I have a lot of faith and belief in this guy. Yeah, and I kind of don't like to hold inserts too much because it messes with my kind of collections. I love collecting the base, so that base <laughs> was really tough for me to let go. But looking at that fired up insert, that thing is so sick with the colors and everything. So that went for forty three dollars, and the plane with fire uh, was seventeen, and the flamethrower, which is nice, was fifteen. And uh, I thought the 43, I was not expect. I didn't do like tons of research on the cost, but I was not expecting that to go that high for an insert. But uh, I think it's the silver. I think when we were, we were opening the box, you could really tell in, in person the, the silver on the inserts because the, the playing with fire isn't a silver. Got it. That playing with fire we pulled that with silver in a couple other cards and it looks sick. Okay. And it's the same thing with the fired up is like, when you get this silver, it really makes that card pop versus not just like the base. It kind of just is a little yeah. flat. So inserts are wild, a little surprise, yeah. a little surprise. The flamethrowers didn't do as well, but I'm wondering if that's maybe even like a Jersey situation. If you notice all of them in, are in their, uh, their away jerseys, mm. right? Yeah. And then the the flamethrowers is his home jersey, I think. Yeah. Right? Do they do I do I have that backwards? No. They wear white for. Right. Yeah, I think so. Am I white crazy? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just looking into it too much. But all in all, Kelsey pulling four oh CJ gosh. Strouds out of one box is still just absolutely mind boggling. Yeah, I watched a couple uh, other boxes and we got. I don't know if we got lucky or if Kelsey willed the Strauss into the box. I don't know. It's kind of like a chicken and egg thing here. Uh, but that was an amazing poll. And a couple slides left. Thanks for staying with us. Uh, Devon H. Han. So we pulled this, this um, redemption. 
And have you sent this in yet? Yes. Okay, so don't try to don't try to use some X-ray vision and, and scan for that code there. <laughs> but uh, did we ever tell our story about our redemption? No, you got to tell that. You got to tell it real quick. We never told no. that. Okay, <laughs> so um, so slight crisis. We're we're try we pull a card and we try to redeem it. Sage tries to redeem it. I what, what did you use? You didn't use a. I used, you didn't use a, I used a, knife a monetary or a key or something. I didn't, okay. I didn't use a coin. And, and he ends up like scratching the actual card to where it removes the ink. Yeah. And so we are left with um, essentially half of the, re, the redeem code and then, <laughs> we, and then half of things like, that were scratched out. Like 50% 50, like 50 of some of these letters or numbers and i think we got to the point too where we like we're running out of because I, I think if you keep like typing it in and you're wrong they eventually like lock you out <laughs> for, for 24 hours yeah so we're like running out of time and we get down to like one of our last guesses and i um what ended up happening did, I went through, did you just come i went through every single number and i was like what does this look like and we kept getting <laughs> We kept trying to figure out the age. I think or the we were thinking it was an age. We finally or said, a four. "Okay, that's a four. and we typed it in, and it worked, and we celebrated because we almost oh. lost the redemption because I scratched it off incorrectly. It would have that would have been devastating. And it was for a fighter too, and we were like, "Oh, it's not that big of a deal. This fighter, he's not that good." No, and then you looked him up like as to put more pressure on disgusting. the situation. You were like, "Wait a second, he's undefeated," and I was like, "Oh no." <laughs> I really messed up. I was up. like, this guy's got a title <laughs> shot in a couple weeks. But we did redeem that card. Uh, okay, but you sent this one off. Yes. So I don't think he signed yet because there's none on eBay. But um, No, he hasn't signed in any product. I couldn't figure out. And this is where we need your guys' help. Like, it says rookie autographs orange. How do you know what that's numbered to? Usually, I just type in rookie autographs orange and... My answer is there, but it looks like they're silver and regular out of 20 out of 50. What's the difference of these oranges? And they both look silverish to me. And I was trying to look for distinction <laughs> on the back of like silver or prism or something. The backs look identical to me. So wait, were you able to, did you look up the, um, uh, did you look up the checklist? No, I did not look up the checklist. Oh, all right, let me do that right now because I wonder if that will give us the answer. Because this is rookie, uh, let's see here, autographs. Yes. So this is going to be your base uh, blue ice, gold, green, orange. Yeah. It's out of 20. Okay, but then explain this orange out of 50 that I have pictured on the screen. <laughs> Uh, out of 50 is also, oh, it's an SP. Okay. That's not us. Oh, wait. Yes. So there's an SP autograph out of orange and that's for Justin Fields, Nick Chubb, Justin Jefferson, Debo Samuel, Michael Parsons, and Nick Bosa. And DJ Johnson. Uh, I don't see DJ Johnson <laughs> on here. Uh, yeah, Phoenix, a lot of different, um, yeah, a lot of different things on here. A lot of different so things. Maybe one was a rookie but, signature uh, and one was not, but anyways, we're at a 20. So we put, we just estimated this. That's good. We estimated this card $45. Hopefully we're way wrong on that. And it goes for a hundred bucks. And, yeah. It might be a lot higher. Yeah. Rookie autographs, orange out of 20. It, it might be a lot more than that since it's out of. Here's 20. what I was thinking. I couldn't find this anywhere. There's never been a sale of this mm -hmm. rookie autograph orange. Made me think must well, only must be out of twenty right? then if I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> so there's never been a sale. But we like to be a little conservative, so we put forty five. But maybe it'll be a hundred dollars. I hope or even yeah, more. Yeah, who knows? But anyways, great poll, great name. Great rookie. Maybe we don't get it back until the season starts and he's like the first two games, he's already run oh. over a hundred yards in each game. He needs to sign his autograph so we can get this thing back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Last card. Number one. I don't even know what this one love. is. Oh yeah. This is the big one. This was a big one. So a couple of funny yeah. stories. We'll go quick because we already taken a lot of time, but uh, this is number one of 35. 
So I was just thinking mm-hmm. getting the first print run of a card is pretty cool. But I think the lower you go, these are just my thoughts, the less it means because one of five, one of 10, one of 25, one of 35, one of a thousand, oh. one of 2000, right? Like oh. that is cooler. So one of 35 must be a sweet spot where it still matters because I thought this card sell, sold really well and it's fire and ice. I thought it was a color blast. I don't know. So you're, so you're saying though, like a one in seven isn't going to matter as much as a two of seven versus a one in a thousand versus a two. Yes. Like the gap in between. You're probably yeah. right. Yeah. You probably, I right. think, um, if you have in baseball, they, they, every year tops does like, out of 2024 the year if you have the Mm -hmm. one out of 2024 that feels insane to me that's a borderline one of one but if if you have a one of five is anybody really being like that's the first one of those five it's like you got a 20 percent chance it's not even that exciting (laughs) yeah i see so 35 was large enough to where i think it mattered and it helped and fire and ice is sick I listed this as color blast and I had some funny messages I want to share. Somebody reached out to me and said, Hey, I love this card. Can I trade for it? And I was like, dude, how are you going to trade for a card that is on auction right now? I said, (laughs) I was trying to be nice, but I was going to say, what do I say to the high bidder? Like, Hey, sorry, I can't send this card off. Uh, I got some good (laughs) trades. So I, yeah, I don't think that's actually eBay. eBay So I told him in a nice way. I said, no, and if you're watching this video, I was very nice to you. Please comment below. But <laughs> I said, like, no, dude, I cannot trade the card. And he goes, ah, oh, man, I'm just trying to get a full, like, uh, rainbow, which is, for those of you who don't know, you collect the same card, all the different colors, and you get your rainbow. So you, you get, like, 20 Jordan Loves. They're all different colors, and he wants this one for the rainbow. And I was like, yeah, uh, sorry about that. And then he said, he said you, can just ca- you, like, you can just cancel it, and we can trade. And I was like, no, 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 no. I can't cancel this thing. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I, I can't cancel this. Last thing I need is to work out a trade, right? So here's where it's yeah. funny. A couple hours later, like you and I text and we say, we, we named it incorrectly. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, you have to so cancel, cancel it. <laughs> try immediately after telling this poor guy, I can never cancel the auctions. <laughs> so I canceled the thing. And I sent him a message. I said, hey, hey, sorry, dude. I had the wrong name. I had to cancel it. The guy responds to me. Oh, yeah. I noticed you had the wrong name. He was going to try to do a trade with me with the wrong name in oh. bad faith, I think, trying to take advantage oh. of me. So anyways. Like it's a color burst. Yeah. It's not that impressive. He, it's not fire and He ice. for sure was going to try to trade me color and burst value. Anyways, uh, yeah. we updated it from Color Burst to uh, Fire and Ice, and we sold it for $67. This is an insane box. Yeah. You didn't even realize so good. that this was the best card out of all of the Strouds. I, no, I, I figured one of the Strouds was the best yeah. cards, but uh, but no. So Jordan Love. And this, honestly, though, too, like the, the timing of this matters, too, yeah. right? Because – is this card $67 right now? Probably not. Could it go up in value? A hundred percent. It definitely could. But when we sold it, Jordan Love was super hot. Like he was uh, playing really, really well yep. at the time of when we sold it. He had a great second so half of the season. Perf- it was we went to that first perfect game timing for us. against the Raiders. We were there together and Jordan Love looked no, like not. very mediocre. Mm, and then all of a sudden, impressed. he's like the man. So, yeah. Uh, can happen real quick i guess yes so well if you're still with us thanks tadpole gang here we go the summary here we go 395 dollars cash out the door we got some 59 in the bulk plus 57 in the babs 113 we will take it 93 dollars cj strong 45 dollars a chan auto 67 dollars fire and ice number one love 434 dollars profit exactly can't make this up. $39.50 for a wow. 10% return on the dot. Wow. Let's go. This is a high-level breakdown. We don't just 
save the comments. We, you know, there's certain eBay fees, some shipping fees. If you sell to different people, there's a lot more to it. This is just a high level look at it. We do have eBay videos where we talk about more details and subscribe to us and join the dark horse trip and keep this channel going if you love it. And we appreciate all your comments and kind words. And we appreciate you buying our cards as well. If you were to purchase one of these <laughs> for giving us that 10% return on it. <laughs> yes. That's amazing box. I don't think many of these boxes are doing plus 10%. Yeah. And to think like that's kind of where you are right now, where a good box is you are get, making $40 yeah. <laughs> kind of just shows you how shows you kind of how crazy this is sometimes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's a good one. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate it all. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you if you like Silver Sages financial breakdowns, drop a like down on the video. That lets us know that you appreciate the content, and we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I always look forward to this. Um, not knowing what you know, obviously, I kind of have an idea of what some of these cards sold when we do it on eBay, but uh, I never really know the final figure. So this is always fun for me as well, and hopefully, it's fun for you guys. Thank you so much. Sage, you got anything else? No. Uh, thanks again. And keep ripping those packs.